So I've had a few subscribers asking me to take a look at the Read More links that are available in MailChimp, which I'm going to do in this tutorial today. So just to show you what we're going to learn today is when you actually create an email campaign, what you can do is add these Read More links. And currently, there's some information under here that is not visible to the person that's received the email. But if they click on the Read More tab, actually it brings up all that extra bit of information there that was hidden in the original article. And you can have multiple read more links throughout your article, which means it looks a lot neater, a lot tidier when somebody receives it and they can choose what they wish to read. However, with MailChimp, there's always a few niggles and these are the niggles that I find with this kind of function within MailChimp. Yes, it's more visually appealing. I get that and I use them. However, functionally, it could be a bit better. And let me just show you why. What does happen is unlike an anchor whereby you click on a link and the information still stays within this email document here, when you actually click on a read more link, it does take you to a new window. Okay, so it will open a new window. It's, it's a little niggle, it's not perfect, it's not a deal breaker, but that's what happens. So don't expect it to suddenly create more information here. It's not going to do it, it will take you straight to another tab. Secondly, what happens is the term, um, when you do click on a read more, regardless of which read more within the document you click on, it does actually open everything. So even if there's some hidden information in this article here and you've clicked on the link up here, it does actually show you all the read more information in the entire document. Again, it's not a deal breaker, but it's not exactly smooth either. But you know, I mean, if somebody wants to click on a read more tab, it will take them to a new window. They can browse through it. You know, they'll get to see all the information that's relayed in the document itself. So again, don't think you've done anything wrong if it does that. You haven't. It does open every single uh, read more tab within the email that you've created. Thirdly, sometimes you do get when you click on the read more, you do get a bit of a gap here sometimes. And it's a case of having a mess with it when you're designing it to make sure you can get that gap nice and easy. And I'll show you that within the tutorial itself. But again, don't panic if you end up with a huge gap where the read more button was. It's a case of messing about with it until you're happy with it. A few niggles, it's not a deal breaker. So, you know, it's a useful tool to use if you have a lot of articles. So let's go and have a look at how we create these links in MailChimp. Now I've created a little bit of a document already with two articles, okay? And it's the same process for each article. What you are going to need are these merge tag um, bits of information here. I have copied them into the description within this tutorial. So my suggestion would be to copy and paste them into a Word document, a notepad, and then you just can copy and paste them over and follow the tutorial as you wish. Okay, so let's get going. Now, what we've got to create first is an anchor. Okay, now an anchor basically does what it says on the tin. It's this little anchor tool here, and it is a point, a point within that document that people are going to relate to. So basically, when they click on the read more, it will take them to that particular point within the email campaign. So you can call it whatever you like, but keep it to one word. Multiple words don't work, so just keep it to one word. I'm just going to call it link one for the ease of this tutorial. And when you do that and click on OK, it actually brings you up this red anchor, and you can see that it's called link one. So that now appears over here, but you won't see it in this box on the left here. Now what we need to do is use the first piece of coding, which is this top piece of code here. So copy and paste that over. And what you need to do is make sure you click on paste as plain text or it won't work. And you just paste it in there and it comes up within this area here. Now what you need to do is create the link. So you highlight the read more text and you go to the link tab. Keep it as web address, you don't need to change it to anything else. And then you'll copy that second piece of coding and overwrite this here. So you end up with this information. Now you'll have something different here, more likely. So type in what you need there in terms of what you've called your anchor tab. Make sure you keep the hashtag in or it won't work. And just insert it. And there you'll see you've created your link to the anchor. Okay. So now we've done that, we need to work with this piece of information here. This is the hidden piece of information, the content that you don't want people to see until they click on the read more. So you go and you find your third 
piece of coding. And that goes directly in front of the piece of information that is currently hidden. And again, you need to use your paste as plain text, paste it in and save it. Now what you need to do is tail that off, so top and tail it, put this piece of information using your paste as plain text, paste it in, and that will now top and tail. So what we've done here is this anchor then says, if we read more, I'm going to take it to this point here in the email campaign, and you're going to show this bit of information here. Okay. So save and close, and now go to preview mode. Now, what we can now see is what that looks like. So we have the information under here that's been hidden. And when we click on that read more, it will take us straight to that point on the article. So that was the initial bit of information. And this is the second bit that was hidden here. So that works. But as I said previously, you end up with quite a bit of white space, you know. Um, so this kind of, from my point of view, I've just messed about with to make it look a bit neater. So you do that just by going into here and just, you know, maybe closing off a couple of your sections and just have to play with it until you're happy with, you know, what that looks like in preview mode. Okay, so just keep playing with it. So that's what you do in terms of adding a read more link. And you can add as many links as you like. So if we were going to do the same here, then let's go through that process again. I'm going to put the anchor up at the top here this time round, and we create a new anchor and let's call that link two. And I now need to copy and paste where the read more information is going to go. So we'll go back up to the top here. And my read more needs to go where the extra information that's hidden is going to be. And again, just click on your paste as plain and drop that in there. And then this needs linking up to your anchor. So go to that second piece of information there, paste it in, and now I've got to change that to link two. Okay. So that means that when someone clicks on this read more button, it will bring them up to the top of this article and all this will, will be visible. I now need to make this the hidden part. So we take the third piece of coding, put it right at the front here, click on paste as plain text and paste it in. And the same with this final piece of code here, put it right at the end of that piece of information and again, top and tail it off. Okay, you might want to close these up. You can mess about with that as you like. And now when we preview it, we now have two read more links. So it does make it a lot neater. It does make it a lot tidier. Okay, but like I say, when you click on this, it now takes you to the beginning of this article, but it does open up the rest of the information within the email. So that shows you quite clearly there. So it doesn't matter which read more tab you click on, it will still open the information for all of the articles. But it's a lot neater, it looks a lot better, and it does work. It's a really useful tool to use. And basically that's how you create read more links within MailChimp. They do give you three options on their website. This is the option that I suggest you go with. It's more flexible, it's easy to do, and you can create multiple links a lot easier than the other two options, which really are for single links only. Have a go, let me know how you get on with it. If there's any other things you'd like me to do in terms of tutorials, it doesn't have to be MailChimp, it could be Adobe or anything else, then just give me a few ideas and then I'll put some time aside and get them done for you. I'm Jean Atkinson, you know, definitely follow the, the, the um, channel if you can, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that wonderful stuff, and um, I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.